Well, if you come down into these woods in Holland Park Annick, you won't find any teddy bears. But what you will find is something just as surprising. And it's all down to the efforts and dedication of one man, Ernie Gordon. Here he's coming now. Let's just see what he's up to. This is my regular early morning routine. Preparing the food to feed the red squirrels. These little creatures get the best of hazelnuts, walnuts, almonds, sunflower seeds, peanuts, a good menu every morning. Hey, coming down for some breakfast? Come along. Come along. I deliver to several regular feeding stations within a hundred meters from here. And this lets the little wild creature become familiar with the food stations. And this is how my day starts every day. This is such a, a natural larder. I've had some magic, magic pictures from here. There are five squirrels here. It's in my pocket. Don't get mad, just take your time. You got it. You're in the wrong side of the pocket. That's it. Coming from the top. Now you can go in there now. That's it. Now you've got it now. Like I said before, a little bit of food and a little bit of patience. And this is the result. My aim is to help protect the red squirrel here in the woods against the disease-ridden grey, which carries a very deadly virus called parapox, which it transmits to the red squirrel and the results are fatal. Once the red squirrel comes in contact with the saliva or the urine of the grey squirrel, it has about eight days to live. This sad, sad possibility that the red squirrel will disappear unless something radically is done to protect it burns within me. Long may he reign here in the woods. I have derived the most magic, wonderful enjoyment over the years and still do. A very close bond with these little creatures that'll stand me in good stead for the rest of my days.